So a few days ago, someone was able to get a physical copy of the RV4 remake and has been live streaming it on TikTok and I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it by now, if you're not living under a rock. He's been spoiling the game and live streaming for only one purpose and it's for money. He's essentially blackmailing people to pay him in order to release more spoilers and footage of the game. So to the people that who are paying him, I just want you to realize on how dumb you are. The game is literally less than two weeks away and I don't know why that you're paying him for especially a remake. If you already paid money to buy the game, why are you paying this guy for him to leak more footage? It just doesn't make sense at all. I recently put out a community post and a lot of people have been saying that Oh, you know, this is just a game from 2005 and it's getting a remake. There's nothing to worry about. You don't, there's no such thing as spoilers for this thing or whatever the case may be. I just want to let you guys know that this game is going to be completely different from the remake. From cutscenes, new areas, new dialogue, new sequences, new mechanics, literally everything that you name it. There's a reason why that Capcom is calling this a remake. I understand that we know the main importance of the story. Luis is gonna die, Krauser's gonna die, Sadler's gonna die, Leon saves Ashley, bada boom bada bing, end of story. I know that. And I know that because I played the original over a hundred times in my lifetime. I know how the game goes. It's just that this game is going to be a completely new experience not just for me but for everyone else that wants to avoid these spoilers. I'm not convincing you guys to go and stay away from the spoilers. You guys have that freedom to do whatever you want. I want you guys to be aware that they are out and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that my chat and comment section do not contain any sort of spoilers and do not describe any spoilers to me at all. Because if you end up doing that, no matter who you are, I am going to ban you until the game comes out. And I'm dead serious about that. You could call me being overprotective, but that's totally fine because this game means too much to me and I've never been more hyped for a game to come out at all in my entire lifetime. So ultimately, it's just like... I don't understand on how these spoilers actually ended up coming out and I'm surprised that Capcom hasn't even done anything to even prevent this stuff to, you know, be happening. At least Rockstar was actually kind of giving some effort within the GTA 6 leaks, but for Capcom, for some reason, they just don't care. Maybe it's because the game is literally less than two weeks out, but I don't, I don't know. And to actually combat that theory about people saying that it is from 2005 and everything, I have a former YouTube buddy of mine that ended up checking out those spoilers on TikTok and I ended up DMing him on Discord. And he ended up saying that there are a lot of different things in that game and it honestly stands out compared to the original game. And that was complete confirmation for me to say, okay, this is something that I need to avoid. I pretty much asked him for a simple yes or no question and I did not want him to describe anything to me since he knows that I don't want any spoilers at all. So to know that there are a lot of different things within cutscenes, gameplay, you know, interactions, dialogue, pretty much everything, puzzles, side quests, it's just... It's absolutely insane to know that this game is going to be absolutely crazy. But at the same time, it's just, why are you paying this guy money? And, you know, I think the uh, the people saying that it's a remake from 2005 or whatever or whatnot, I don't have a problem with you guys saying that. It's just, now, let's move on to the developer side of things because this has done a lot of damage to them. We're literally two weeks away. Like, I'm going to be repeating myself when I say that. And to know that develop the developers either are aware or unaware of this stuff, this has done a lot of damage to them. And I don't know who is specifically responsible for this to happen. I don't know if it's GameStop, I don't know if it's Capcom, but it has done a lot of damage. And if it is GameStop, Capcom might consider cutting ties with them because GameStop has been really, really bad as of recently. They were canceling the pre-orders of the Collector's Edition for RE4, and apparently... Uh, some people were able to get this stuff at Target for like a physical copy because there's no way you can play it digitally at all because I tried that myself and that just didn't work. So if it's GameStop, Target, or any other sort of store that has these games on the shelf with the disc and people are, you know, buying this stuff then, I'm just absolutely shocked by that entire situation. I know aside from RS4 Remake, you need to prepare yourself for future Resident Evil games for a situation to happen like this again. Resident Evil 8's story got leaked a few days before release and it got everything down to the minute detail and I ended up checking out those leaks because I wanted to make sure that Chris wasn't some sort of villain and it turned out that, you know, he wasn't, uh, Mother Miranda was in the shape of Mia, Ethan dies, yeah, you get it. They pretty much got everything right about that story. So, I think this situation would be a lot worse if it was Resident Evil 9 instead of 4 Remake because, again, I, I understand it's a remake and we know the main things about the story, but let's just say if this was Resident Evil 9, this situation would be 10 times worse for a lot of people, and I think everyone, like 100% of the people, would be pretty pissed off that the game was getting spoiled that early if it was something like Resident Evil 9. 
But don't think that this won't happen with that game. Like, there will be a chance that it could happen. So my best advice is to prepare yourselves for that. And to give my final thoughts on this entire situation, it's just honestly crazy. I mean, I expected a few things to happen, though, but I didn't expect anything to happen this early. I'm pretty much in internet COVID protocol. Uh, so I'm pretty much avoiding everything from Twitter, uh, TikTok, Discord. My, I literally left my own Discord server and to just avoid these spoilers because I care about this game so much and I care about the original game so much and I don't want the hype and experience to be ruined for me by these spoilers so I hope you guys do understand where I'm coming from you guys have the freedom to check out the spoilers all you want just do not mention them or bring them up in my comments or in my chat because I will ban you but yeah, that's my overall thoughts on this entire situation. It's pretty fucked up, to be honest with you. To the guy that is streaming and blackmailing people for money, I'm not just praying on your downfall. I'm trying to participate into it. I already shared your account. I wanted it to get reported. So, uh, fuck you. And apparently there are more people that are putting this out as well, so it might not just be him. There's a lot of people that will be live streaming it. They will be putting together some footage to, you know, uh, explain or show full cutscenes of the remake uh, past the village section of the demo. So... There's a lot of shit that will be happening within the next few weeks. If you search up RE4 Remake in the search engine, you're guaranteed to see at least two or three of those spoilers. So I know that this was kind of like a, a, a live stream kind of thing, but I would just wanted to give my absolute final thoughts. But um, this is absolutely crazy, to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm just shocked. There's uh, a lot of things that were going on in my mind about this situation. I just hope uh, I avoid them as much as possible. You know, the temptation to check out spoilers is at its peak sometimes for me, but I guess I gotta do my best to avoid them, delete some social media apps, and you know, just isolate myself from social media for a bit. But I'm gonna try my best to get some videos out, and I had to make this video since I think it was very important for not just for me, but for all of us that are hyped for this game. But again, I will repeat myself again, if you want to check out the spoilers, feel free to. But do not bring them into my comments or chat. I will ban you until the game is released. I promise you guys that. I don't care who you are. But anyways, guys, I had to put this video out since I just seen a lot of people have been putting these kind of videos out as well. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 5k subs before the release of the remake. I hope you guys have yourselves a good day, good night, a good sleep, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out and much love.